Iraq has decided to eradicate alcohol altogether from the country and enforce a ban on the import and sale of alcohol. This move has enraged the Christian community who are now attempting to overturn the legislation on this issue. The Christian group, which has only five seats in the Iraqi parliament, has filed a lawsuit while emphasizing that the act is undemocratic and unconstitutional. The Babylon movement, a Catholic political party, has appealed in court, urging that the legislation is unfair and it ignores the rights of minorities. But there is more to that. The ban also contradicts a government decree, which is setting a 200% duty charge on all imported alcohol for the next four years. Officials say the ban would just push alcohol sales to the black market. Iraq, a Muslim-dominated nation, has discouraged consumption of alcohol as per the Islamic belief that Muslims should avoid direct and even indirect association with alcohol. But the opposition argues it's a question of personal freedom and that the government cannot prohibit citizens from exercising their rights. Since ages, public consumption of alcohol has been frowned upon in Iraq. Now the ban, which was passed by parliament in 2016, will completely restrict people from having a drink. Officials say the bill was proposed uh, keeping Article 2 of Iraq's 2005 constitution in mind. The article prohibits any legislation that goes against Islam. Although it remains unclear how strictly the law will be enforced, the government has confirmed a U.S. dollar uh, has confirmed a 17,000 U.S. dollar fine for alcohol consumption. Iraq's step down on the minorities might result in an uproar, but will the Christian community continue to push back, or will Iraq join the leagues of Iran and Saudi Arabia to become the next anti-alcohol country?